It's Thursday, July 27, 2023, and I'm Dave Sobel. Two things to know today. Generative AI making more moves, Amazon's Alexa overhaul, and edge device deployments. And IT departments fail to meet business expectations and need better demonstrations of value, says these reports. This is the business of tech. Anthropic, Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI are forming the Frontier Model Forum, an industry-led body focused on the safe and responsible development of powerful AI models. The forum will start with a research focus and work to develop standardized best practices for evaluating Frontier Model risks and to issue a public library of solutions. The companies are among seven that recently committed to minimizing AI risks and sharing safety best practices with the White House. The forum is open to companies developing powerful models that exceed the capabilities currently in the most advanced models. New research in Edge AI has made it possible for large language models to run on devices such as iPhones, Androids, PCs, and browsers. This could widen the use of generative AI and reduce the need for renting servers from cloud providers like Azure, AWS, and Google. Amazon plans to use generative AI to revitalize its Alexa voice assistant and give it a more conversational nature. The company sees Alexa's presence in the home and its existing ties to other devices as a key advantage over rivals. Amazon's goal is to create an assistant that can answer questions and take action, but it must ensure that generative AI systems do not compromise security and privacy. Amazon is expected to announce new devices at an event in September with more complete integrations to follow next year. Due to low accuracy rates, OpenAI has shut down a tool designed to differentiate between human and AI-generated writing. The company plans to develop new mechanisms to identify AI-generated audio and visual content. Misinformation via AI-generated text is a growing concern, and governments have yet to figure out how to regulate it. Bing AI Chatbot is now available on Google Chrome and Safari with some limitations, such as a 2,000-word prompt limit and conversation reset after five turns. Microsoft has also introduced dark mode for Bing Chat, accessed through the hamburger menu. Previously, the chatbot was only available on Edge, making it inconvenient for users on other browsers. Microsoft's AI-powered coding companion, GitHub Copilot for Business, has 27,000 customers using the service, including Airbnb, Dell, and Scandinavian Airlines. CEO Satya Nadella touted the value of adopting generative AI solutions like GitHub Copilot, which infuses AI across Microsoft's product inventory. However, the impact of AI on Microsoft's earnings this quarter was negligible. Why do we care? Copilot for business adoptions numbers are solid. It's not been widely available, and while revenue numbers aren't a big deal yet, this is encouraging news. Plus, the ability to use LLMs on edge devices will push the relevance further out. No one should be surprised that Amazon is looking to leverage its Alexa capabilities with AI, nor continued pushes to make the products more available by Microsoft. There are complicated issues here. As OpenAI quickly learned, a tool alone won't solve the coming changes due to AI. This is good news for service organizations, continuing to highlight the relevance of the business questions to be answered about its use. Good news. The players involved try to get ahead of regulation with their standards. That alone won't do it. Yet it's encouraging all the same. According to the State of IT report from Salesforce, nearly 9 out of 10 IT leaders believe generative AI will have a prominent role in their organizations in the near future. The report also highlights other key findings, including the growing demand for IT services, the focus on resilience and efficiency, and the challenges IT departments face in meeting some business demands. Here are some highlights. Only 35% of IT leaders say their performance metrics align with those of other departments. The five IT metrics are project ROI, project speed, customer satisfaction and experience, employee satisfaction and experience, and sustainability. IT departments report using automation an average of 1.9 hours saved per week per employee. 
IT departments are struggling to keep up with application development demand, with only 26% able to support all requests. Low-code and no-code tools are now commonly used to address this, with 77% of IT departments utilizing them. Additionally, 46% of IT departments have composable design strategies, and 43% plan to implement them within 18 months. 84% of IT leaders say their departments must address changing customer expectations better, and 82% of IT leaders say their departments must demonstrate business value better. You want to add a bit of MSP-specific data? CompTIA surveyed AI usage around HR, and 27% of organizations are currently using AI across multiple HR functions, while 40% are piloting AI in specific HR areas, 21% are considering it for the future, and 7% are not considering its use. Regarding the impact of AI on jobs in the next two years, 19% of MSP respondents predict a net loss of staffing, 35% expect no change, 32% indicate a net gain in staffing, and 15% are unsure. Why do we care? While AI has been a lot lately, I wanted to put the data into context. Note that none of the performance metrics of IT departments have anything to do with the technology and everything to do with business value. That's why we care. Don't get bogged down in the tech while at the same time tracking the technology. That's your value, the bridge between the two. It's just a simple reminder today of priorities. Do you like getting paid? Then make it easy for your customers with Gazinta Payments. Do you teach your customers not to click on links from strange domain names like mymsp.monkeypayments.com or slowbooks.com? Gazinta Payments uses your branding and domain name. No redirects no confusion. Gazinta Mobius is trusted by over a thousand MSPs to sync financial data. Their new product, Gazinta Payments, is built with the same care and empathy to make the payment process easy for your customers. Gazinta is a family-owned business dedicated to making software suck less every day. Go to G-O-Z-Y-N-T-A dot com slash payments to learn more or get started. Thanks for listening today, National Chili Dog Day and National Scotch Day. And it's Bagpipe Appreciation Day. That sounds like one hell of a party. I'll leave you with that thought. The Business of Tech is written and produced by me, Dave Sobel, under ethics guidelines posted at businessof.tech. Like the content? Support the show at patreon.com slash MSP radio or buy our Why Do We Care merch at businessof.tech. If you want to reach our listeners, visit mspradio.com slash engage. Part of the MSP Radio Network.